The text narrates how King Solomon's mother, contributing to his divinely bestowed wisdom, gave him a ring inscribed with, This too shall pass. This message taught Solomon about impermanence and humility, crucial aspects for his development as the wisest man in history. Solomon's mother was Bathsheba, wife of David. Solomon inherited the throne from his father, David, and under his reign, Israel reached its peak of splendor and prosperity. King Solomon's mother was named Bathsheba and was the wife of King David, with whom she bore King Solomon. He focused on David's throne to make Israel the most prosperous nation in the world and in the history of Israel during his time. Perhaps even today, King Solomon, although heavily criticized on social media, is also widely understood. However, there are aspects that our tradition reveals that Solomon did which books have not disclosed, but have been conveyed in the profound wisdom passed meticulously from generation to generation, from teacher to student, within and at the heart of the Jewish people. One of the things revealed to us is that King Solomon's mother gave him a ring, and on that ring were engraved three initials, three letters that have impressive power not only for Cain, Solomon but also for you if you manage to hold this teaching in your heart, even if not on your finger, and if you want to have it in a piece of jewelry, then better for you. But if you understand this phrase hinted at by these three letters that King Solomon's mother revealed to him, I assure you that something will be very different in your life. Starting from this video, I will first tell you the story, then I will explain what was written in above all what it means and how you can apply it to your life, so stay until the end of the video. We are going to start by explaining the story that King Solomon was a child whom everyone talked about because everyone understood that the riches and glory of his father were reserved for him, and there was something that his mother had to do to protect him from all these expectations of the people. One day, she went and asked to engrave three letters on a ring and gave it to him. These letters were Gimel, Zion, and Yod, three letters that are the initials of three words that form a phrase, Gam Yabor, Gam Yabor, means, this too shall pass. Yes, this too shall pass, ETP if we want to say it in Spanish letters, and you're going to tell me, well, what's so mysterious about this ring? What's so wise about this message? When King Solomon's mother gave him this ring, she told him, son, I want you to always remember in every event of your life these three words, Gam Yabor, this too shall pass, and he asked, mom, when do I have to remember this? When things are going bad and I have to remember that this bad phase will also pass. She said, no son, in every event of your life I want you to remember this, when you feel suffering and pain. I want you to remember it's not worth sinking into that pain. It's not worth dwelling on it too much because this too shall pass, but I want you to know that when you have much wealth, when the world gives you much glory I want you to know it's not worth getting too carried away because this too shall pass. Indeed, the message is very profound. In good times, when you're happy, do not overflow with joy, and in bad times, when you're sad, do not be overly sad. It's never worth it because both sadness and joy will eventually pass. And what happens when someone clings too much to something, for example, to the joy they have and does not understand that it is fleeting, does not understand that this world is a transient world, they cling to it, and when it leaves, they are not only sad about the event that caused the joy to leave but even more saddened beyond the event by the departure of the joy, by the melancholy of having lost all that they once had. But if from the beginning, they had enjoyed the present and had said, while this experience, I'm living lasts, I will be grateful and enjoy it, but I understand that if at some point it goes, this is not something new but is one of the things in this transient world that all are transient and when it passes, it will have passed, and something new will arrive. And I don't have to worry because that new thing that arrives will also pass. Gamze Yabor, that is what Bathsheba revealed to King Solomon. She gave him the ring and told him. If you want to be the wisest man in the world, you have to live in this world with the consciousness that is the consciousness of Gamze Yabor. This too shall pass. Understanding that everything you have is like a borrowed gift. We come to this world. And each second is led to us. Our soul is here to do what it has to do and is embroiled in this material world, and here it will receive better things or things that will cause some degree of pain but no matter, all of them come with a purpose, and are for good but the most important is that you understand that all of them at some point had to pass, do not cling to the situations of this transient world and I believe this is what allowed King Solomon to always keep that center that kept him in his divine purpose and in some way Yage did not get carried away by anything. When the two women came to King Solomon with a baby, and one said that it was her son and the other said it was her son, and they were fighting. King Solomon might have felt mercy or compassion for one, 
He could have felt but King Solomon always kept the center and always knew to listen to what his divine voice was telling him inside because he did not get carried away because he knew that this too shall pass. I know at this point many of you will say, ah but King Solomon did not end the same as he started. It's true he ended differently and no, that's not the topic of the video, in another video. I will talk about why King Solomon ended as he did and what made him fail but it was not a failure like the rest of the people. He was the wisest man of some calculation in his great wisdom. Yes made him fail but that is not the topic. The point here today is that you stay with that message. There are three words that you must engrave in your heart. Three very important words. Gam Yabor. This too shall pass. It's not worth sinking into your suffering because yes, this will pass in here. I would like to tell you a story. Once there was a couple eh a very wise rabbi who was with his wife and the son was playing with a ball in the house breaking the rule that in the house you do not play with the ball he threw the ball very hard and broke a very very expensive vase at the moment the woman saw that the vase that she had inherited that she had so much emotional attachment to and also was worth so much money had broken her heart broke. She started to cry and started trying to reconstruct it saying, it broke, it broke, it broke. The husband asked the woman to sit down he gave her a glass of water and said. Dear, do you have a calendar? And the woman said, wait, what does that have to do with it? Sorry, do you have a calendar? I would like you to open the calendar please. Now she opened it, said, I want you to open it to today. If today for example is I don't know EH March 26th, then today I would like you to go to next year to that same day, and I want you to write the word base on that same day, the woman said. Why are you going to give me one for that date, but I don't mind because this is something that I inherited, no, 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 I'm not going to give you anything, I just want you to note down the word, vase. A year from now, the woman wrote it down, obeyed him, knowing her husband was a wise man. The husband said, I'm very sorry for everything that has happened, gh, we'll try to have another although I know it's not the same, and so, after a few days, the woman said, Hey, why did you make me write down the word base? I'm sorry I can't tell you until the day it comes. Then I will be able to reveal it, and so after a month she asked again. Hey, but aren't you going to tell me what that word you made me note down is about? No, no, I can't now I will reveal it to you in time. Finally the day came, the woman was impatient, she returned from a day of shopping it was the day, she took out the agenda and said. Dear, how are you? Good day, E.H., he said to her, how has your day been? Was it wonderful? How do you feel? Are you happy? I am very happy. Okay. But today is the day, the agenda. Look I've been waiting a year for you to tell me, and he said the following, how do you feel today? You feel happy right? Yes. Well, I just wanted to show you something that a year from when the vase broke at that very moment. I was suffering but a year from now you won't even remember, you will be happy, you will be content and I've left you this year to give you this lesson for the rest of your life. What if instead of suffering so much on that same day you remember? That a year from now you won't even think about the tongue and you will be completely normal and happy, is it worth staying stuck in the pain of the past? Yes, Gam also this must pass and this was the great lesson that this man gave his wife telling her the next time something happens just think that a year from now you won't even remember it. Everything will be very different and this too passes, everything passes ladies and gentlemen. It's not worth clinging so much to the things that happen to us it's worth being happy all the time and grateful but sometimes we EH are too attached to the things we have as if that were what was going to change the rest of our lives and also that will pass at some point so everyone understands that the only thing they have is the moment of now and that connection with the creator which is forever the rest of the things are transient they are good we want them we live them and it is all something very profound that we want to live but in the end we understand what King Solomon's mother left engraved in sound, Gam Z, and if you like this video and learned something, I would like you to write these words in the comments, Gamma Bore, and explain to me how you adapt it to your life, what events you understand that it's not worth getting stuck in them. Because you know what will happen and tell me a little bit in the comments. I will be reading to leave me a like and subscribe to the channel. If you haven't done it and above all above all from receivers to givers, how we can move from receivers to givers sharing this video with other people and that this motto that King Solomon carried in his life reaches each person in the